Well, well, well. That was some shit, wasn't it? So, welcome guys to another Let's Play. This one was suggested by Blind Man. Uh, Reaver of Dual Sandwiches, as he's now called. One day, that will actually stick in my head. So, this is uh, Countdown Vampires, made by Bandai, apparently, in 1999. Now, um, from what I've seen, this is a Resident Evil, OG Resident Evil style game for the original PlayStation. Uh, more than that, I have no idea. <laughs> um, I did read up uh, a little bit of stuff on the wiki, just so I'm not completely ignorant. Uh, apparently, you're fighting vampires and werewolves and things. Uh, sounds a little bit like Vampire Hunter D. That was a playstation one game that i played back in the day and well who boy um <laughs> yeah interesting memories of that one um looking forward to it gonna be honest looking forward to this uh let's have a little look at the options that we have we are running this via emulation because my ps1 is a little bit ropey and you know what i just can't be bothered to set up all these consoles i've already got a switch on my desk i've got an xbox one x Next to me, I've got a PlayStation 4 Pro next to that. I've got cable. I can't be bothered. Uh, last time I remember, my PlayStation 1 was not working that well anyway. And you know what? Emulation, just so much easier. It properly frames the game and looks nice and crispy. Well, there's sweet FA in there. So, let's go. New game. Uh, we can go easy or normal. Uh, well, I guess we're going to go normal. Ooh, first name. I have no idea. We're gonna go Titan because why not you? Um, enter. I don't know. Uh, wow, we've got a second name as well. Hmm. Uh. I have no idea. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, okay. Uh, second name. Titan Power. Yes. That'll do. That'll do nicely. And that has gone wrong. Oh, it's the font looks weird. Font looks really weird. Um, right. That'll do. Your blood group. Does this have anything to do with the main game? I don't know. AB is the rarest blood type on Earth, but it's also the most useful blood type on Earth because that means your blood's universal. Uh, yes. Enter. Hmm. I'm a homicide detective from a neighboring state. Okay. And I've specifically come here for a very simple reason. Mm hmm I'm working as a guard for the VIPs at the Casino Hotel opening party. Okay. I guess that's us. Like the music. Ooh, yeah. Homicide Detective A. Outfit looks cool. We're working. Ex so, are we not a vampire then? I guess we're just fighting vampires. Oofed. We have sexy ladies. Okay, they're dancers. Old rich man. Sexy woman in a red dress. Standard.
Well, this uh, casino is pulling out all the tropes so far. And say so we've got Jason Voorhees behind the uh, behind the bar there. Hey, we've even got cat. That's what every casino needs. Cats make everything better. Apart from when they don't. Which is fairly often. Is that Nikolai? The moon. That's Blackwater. It's actually a place in Cornwall. The fuck? So the Blackwater turns people into werewolves? <laughs> oh fuck. Yes. That's what we want to see. Okay. Oh, you useless fool. Honestly. Oh god. This is so Resident Evil. Oof. Well, we've fucked everything up. Oh, the old rich man turned into a werewolf. Looks like everybody is. At least someone's cool under pressure. You all right? What are they? Get out of here! They're vampires. <laughs> okay. This white water turns them back to normal. Black water makes them evil. White water turns them good. Here, use this. But what about you? We look like I Billy from more. Resident Evil. Wait here. I'm gonna look around. Okay, so we're Billy from Resident Evil. Homicide detective or something. Um, objectives of the early stages. Leave this area within three minutes. Head for the screaming moon door. Use the... Okay, alright. I guess even that was timed. Something about an anesthetic or gun or something. Okay. So, as Billy Cohen... Fire prevention procedures, code CR01. Club Regan will be sealed off in three minutes. Club Regan. Please leave Club Regan immediately and proceed Regan. to a safe shelter area. Well, uh, okay. Well, uh, that we can do. I'm guessing somewhere we have a gun. Uh, how do we? Ah, right. Uh, okay. We've somehow changed weapon. All right. This is going very well to start with. I'm right. Okay. So circle changes your weapon uh, we've reloaded the weapon this is going very well might be worth restarting straight away the so L1 aims L1 and X fires the gun oh cool oh that's a nice little animation there so, right, this dude I'm guessing is not dead, we've got a quick turn as well. Right, 
So let's have a little look. Do we? Oh god! Right, we've got a stun globe. We've got the anesthetic dart A. Eh? We've got the stan. Cool. Can we actually look at any of this stuff? Uh, I guess not. Stun globe. Not sure what that's about. We have files. Uh, police badge. Sea Rim City Police Homicide Badge. Letters are carved on the back. Death. Right. So we're Mr. Death. Got ya. Announcement of appointment. Former Sea Rim City Homicide Detective Wesley Simmons was murdered. His partner, Homicide Detective Keith J. Snide. I can't read this. It's so low resolution. I'll see if I can bump that up in a minute. Uh, was deemed to be irresponsible. Oh, if I read it on my OBS window, I can read it fine. He was disciplined with the following duties. Due to open in the uh, Plata Lo uh, Losa City in the new century, the Desert Moons Casino Hotel is holding a grand opening ceremony. Randy, <laughs> Randy Jones, a horror movie director and VIP attendee, is, has hired guards for the protection of the event. Sea Rim City Police Department, Police Chief Morgan Stewart. Okay, horror movie director Randy Jones. So Randy Jones has hired us, I guess. We've got mail as well, and we've got cash. Right. So navigating, X is to go forwards, triangle is to go back. Got ya. Okay, interesting. So. I guess we can put this, like, white voodoo on people, and that makes them good again? I don't know. Already out of breath. What does that mean? Does that mean he's dead, or...? Okay. Right, let's get out of here. We've wasted, like, all of our time. We've been bitten about a thousand times. I have no idea where I'm going or what I'm doing. There's a dead woman here. Like, most of her insides are all over the floor, which is a little bit awkward. We've got cash. Ooh. Slot machine can be played, but not what you have chosen. But not what you have chosen now. Uh, right. Okay, so we're gonna have serious levels of English in this game. We do like dodgy translations. So that's where we're going. The key is damaged. I can't open the door. Well, that's fucking wonderful, isn't it? Brilliant. Brilliant. Just what we wanted. So, we can't open the door. Is there another way? There's more slot machines. Got a shitty little door here that I guess we can go through. All oh, right. That secure. Oh no, that was our friend. That was the cool guy that was under pre uh like really chilled out. It's like he took a lot of these bastards with him to be fair. Alright. Not seeing any, like, collectibles or anything. But that makes sense at this early stage of the game. Locked. <laughs> Calm down, dude. Jesus. This white water turns them back to normal. <laughs> Good thing we've got a pocket full of white water. Use the anesthetic stun gun after they're under port. Oh, okay, that it really doesn't give you a lot of time. Oh shit! Fuck me! All right. Oh god! Oh god! Oh dear! These guys are little tenacious bastards, aren't they? I need to reload. There we go. Come get it, boys! I got your white water right here in my pocket. Uh, this is a little bit awkward. Do we have, like, a limit to the white water? Maybe. There we go. We just smear this white liquid on them. Hope they don't mind. There we go. There you go, buddy. Feel a little bit better after that. Uh, yes. Nice bit of white water for everyone. Our friend here has plenty of white water in his pocket. Okay. So, get it. Okay, so that's darts for the gun. 
So we can switch from the gun to like this melee attack. That's interesting. I'm guessing there's going to be... S and we can reload our... Is, does that reload it? I guess so. Hmm. Number of circ... What's that number of circuits in use? 150. I don't know what the hell that means. All right. Right, okay, so zombies, zombie vampires, because they don't really look like your garden variety vampires to me. Uh, what the hell is this? Oh man, so much to look at, so much to see. There's a vending machine. Buy a map? Uh, yeah, we'll buy a map. How much money do we have? Might be worth looking. Uh, let's print a map. Map purchase. Oh, white water. Zero, zero. That could be the infinity symbol, to be fair. Yeah. So, cash, we have 59J, whatever the hell that means. I can't seem to examine too much else here. Right. There was some, like, bullets back here. I'm not really sure how we pick that up. Pick those up. We... Need some health too. Can we just like reach over the counter if we can? Oh, that was okay. So every pickup looks the same. Right, what's that? Drink. What is a drink? Uh, guess we. Oh, right. Okay, that restored our health. So we drink booze if we need a little bit of a pick me up. I can relate. What's this? Next is this woman. Kento ticket. What's that? Is there any way of examining items? Kento ticket. I mean, we, not really. We can select the items. But apart from that, it doesn't really do anything, which is a bit weird. Right, so how do we get into the map? Is it select? It is not. Got to be a map button, surely. I mean, we've got the traditional tank controls, which is nice. Uh, map. Okay, so I guess we have to do it that way, which is going to be a pain in the ass. Right, so we're here. Okay, the map ain't great. It's not great, but it will do. Okay, so do we use these tickets, maybe, to... Um, Do we use these tickets to actually, like, save the game or something? I mean, we have got the power of save states if we cannot work out how to save the game. Let's see what's through here. Locked. Ooh, spicy. Is this, like, a save room or something? Ah, oh, uh, maybe. Boss of stas. Yeah, okay. Ah, wait. Did we have limited item slots here? I guess we do. So this is like the item storage box. All right. I can get behind that. So we don't really want to ditch anything. Mail. Let's go save the game. And see what... Checking memory card. <laughs> we have a <laughs> fresh memory card inserted because yes. Drop a save there. Now, we're not rank running or anything like that, obviously, because I've never played this game before. Uh, okay, what's in the mail? We've got lists. Oh, I guess there's nothing in the mail. That's nice. We are, we're not very popular today. By the sounds of things. Right, so what's this other do for? What do you do, son? There is a locked door. Open the, uh, yeah, open the lock. Sure. Oh. Okay. Right, I get it, I think.
Uh, I don't get it. Oh, right. So, do we need one there and one there? There we go. All right, that's, that's fairly simple. At least that one was. So, we need to put the dots. So, ID for VIP room. Susie. So, we need to line the dots up uh, wherever they're highlighted. Okay, that's not too bad. Right. I'm guessing we can't fiddle with any of these things. No. So, we can go through here. Where would this be on the map? That's not the map. Oh, it's so slow switching between menus and stuff. Uh, map. Really wish that there was a... Has that circuit's gone down? What's that about? Right, so... Oh, okay. So, an area that we haven't been in is blue. An area that we have been in goes clear. Uh, yeah, alright, I like that. Cool. Otherwise, that map just looks like a huge freaking mess. I'm guessing we need to find somewhere we can use this. This key card or this ticket, whatever the hell the ticket does. Ooh, do we have any gribbly monsters in here? Hello? Evening? Would you like to introduce yourself? Ooh. Oh, there is a map button. And we can zoom in. The map button is... Um, R2. Okay, that's good. I like a map button. Right, well, it looks like we're free of zomboids for now. Right, what's in the box? What's in the box? The box, the box. A file acquired. Yeah, we're going to have a read. Kento ticket, first game, 000. zero, zero. Uh, right. Two, five, six. Do I need to be writing this? I need to be writing this down, don't I? Okay. <laughs> Probably need to be right. As I don't have my tablet, no bikes, it's charging. Um, so we have two, five, six. We also had zero, zero, zero. That said something about first game. Got ya. Okay. Kento ticket written on a memo. Playing cards. Two, five, and six. What does this mean? I don't know, buddy. I don't know. But I guess slowly and painfully together we will find out. Ammo. Yes. Hell yeah, we want ammo. Now, I don't know if we can just like beat this shit out of the enemies. Or if that's just going to cause issues. I'm guessing saving them is, is good. Right, so that's the way we came. Let's go through here. Music's nice and moody. Very ominous. I'm, I'm a bit of a fan. Ah, looks like we've got another one of these save room type things that's not actually a save room. Another file. There's going to be lots of files, isn't there? Slot machine breakdown repair procedure. Normally, operating slot machines have blue lights on the upper section. If this blue lamp turns red, something is not working correctly. Should this occur? Uh, yeah. Should this occur what? File, please. Uh, staff member. All right. In hand, no, that's not what we want, is it? No, that is uh, working, so we need to push down. Okay, check the inside of the slot machine. Once the lamp is turned off, immediately inform the manager. All staff members are expected to respond quickly and calmly. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think anybody's gonna freak out if the slot machines start breaking down. I'm just saying, man, like, I think that's okay. Right, can we search any of this stuff? doesn't look like it and search this because we know we can fondle these <laughs> yeah we want to open the locker fuck yeah uh, 
Oh, I see how this is going to be difficult. Well, maybe not difficult, but a little bit juicy. I'm guessing as we go through, we're going to get more and more uh, dots to line up or something. I don't know. Right, so we've got another key card. It was a key card, wasn't it? Yeah, so we've got Susie and Cheryl. But all right, so we can combine items. So, okay, that's good, I guess. We're in 26 minutes as well, so you might want to think about going to a save room. Or we can just drop a save state so I don't have to waste time running all the way back to a save room. Oh, emulators. Oh, emulators. So we could go back the way we came. Or we can go upstairs behind us. Let's keep going in one direction for now. I'm sure we're probably... That is another door, isn't it? We're probably going to... Yeah, we're probably eventually going to come up to some kind of door or barrier that we can't get past. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. Really? Dude, you're supposed to, like, just lay there and take it, my man. Can't give you any of the, the, the white liquid. I don't want to duff this guy in. Yeah, I guess we have like unlimited quantities of that. Now, how do we reload? Like that. Sounds like somebody's jerking off somewhere. Ah, hello. I want to try like taking her out with that fist thing, but I don't. I think that might kill her. And I'm guessing. Okay. She just needed a bit of white liquid on her face. Um, I'm guessing. Beat right. Let's try beating this guy up. Should we? Ooh, nice. All right. I like it. Now, do you want the white liquid on your face? Nah, he's still got some fight in him. Come on, buddy. Come on. That's what we're talking about. They're very strange vampires, I'll be honest. Oh, okay. So, don't use the big beaten fists. There's apparently big beaten fists uh, kill people. Killing people is bad, okay? Killing people is very bad. Ooh, what have we got? Nancy's card, I guess. Man, we've got a lot of cards here. Hmm. So we can have a drink. We can get a bottle. Or we can... Can't afford food. Alright, well, let's get a... Drink, I guess. Get a little juice box, shall we? There we go. Nice manly juice box. The shutters are closed. Can't go any further. Right, okay, cool. So we've got our backs up against the wall. Come on, Billy. So this is what Billy was up to uh, before shit hit the fan. So we're actually learning Billy's backstory here. Right. Let's go back to the main area. And then we'll call it a video. I must be honest as well, running it on an emulator, my god, it, it does make it look quite a bit prettier, to be honest. Because when you upload... Ooh. Okay, I was not expecting this. Um, shit. Panicking. Pushing the wrong buttons. I was not expecting this. Shit, this is going to go badly, isn't it? Yep. Are we hitting the wrong guy? Because we're, yeah, we're stuck. That's a bit of a problem. That's kind of, oh god. Yeah. Dude, stop fucking me over, man. 
Okay. Have your white cream in the face. Good man. And wash your... Oh, we're on danger. Ooh, not good. Uh, although I'm not surprised we were on danger, to be honest. So enemies respawn. <laughs> and they run like they've shit themselves, which is immensely entertaining. They really do need quite a lot of this stuff to put them down as well. So these guys seem to get up twice. The females seem to get up once. At least that is my understanding so far. Ah, uh, right, I'm... Okay, so if we look... You've got Legan that way, which is where we came from. You have... What else have we got here? You've got Nancy that way. Right, okay. Right, I'm going to go save this, guys. I'm hoping that these... Don't, like, respawn every time we enter... This area. Should we practice that? Should we try that? Like, if I leave this area, are they going to respawn? Well, that doesn't quite count as a exiting an area now, does it? Okay, so I'm going to have to have a bit of a play around and see how. If there is an effective way of um, <laughs> dodging these guys. Because, man, they really do kind of just come at you. Right, anyway, we're going to end the first episode there. When we come back, we're going to see if we can find somewhere to use these keys. And we also have the code as well. So, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.